You put the whole box in, you take the whole box out. You put the whole box in and you shake it all about. Oh, my God. Ugh, I gotta really figure out better ways to intro my videos. How's it going, everybody? Welcome to my desk, my basement, and my obscenely large cup of coffee. That's right, super friends. It's box day. The day where we get to open up a Culture Fly quarterly subscription box filled with DC Comics tat. Some of it pretty cool, and some of it perhaps fit for the dollar store. We don't know until we open the box up. Either way, this is always a fun time indeed. I'd like to show you the front of the box, but I can't yet on account of the fact that it's got all my shipping info on it. But I wanted you all to see that it is still wrapped in plastic, even though I'm going to be honest and tell you that I may or may not, and leading more on the May side, have seen some of the items that are going to be in this box. Instagram really doesn't help with my whole inability to spoil things for myself, but really it's my fault. It's this finger's fault in particular, because uh, on the Instagram site for World's Finest the Collection, which I follow, it's like, do you want to see a little spoiler? And I'm like, no, I don't want to see a spoiler. And then my little finger's like, yeah, you do. You want to see a spoiler. I'm like, shut up, finger. I don't want to see it. Before I know what's happened, it's like, and it clicks it, and then I see what the, the spoiled item is. It's my fault, but I blame my finger. So, let's peel the plastic off and let the fun begin. Bye-bye. This is the extra large box. I perhaps should have ordered the 2XL. I think I actually may have ordered the 2XL this time. For some reason, I might have gotten shipped a 1XL. I might be gaining weight again. Anyhow, front of the box. You got the flash, and clearly this is a Flashpoint theme, if I didn't mention that, which I don't think I did. This, the theme of this box is Flashpoint. The next box will actually be some sort of classic DC theme. I've already done one like that. The next one will also be like a classic DC Comics theme. Here's the side of the box. It's got Wonder Woman. And this side of the box has, I mean business, Aquaman. And the back, it has the reverse Flash. And then we got Thomas Wayne up here on this side of the box. And this side's got a logo. And as always, these boxes are great for storing figures that you can't fit on your shelves because you've clearly bought too many. All right, let's open it up. I'm just gonna stick my hand in the box, as usual, as is my custom, and grab the first thing that comes out, and it's... Oh, it's a Flash baseball cap. It's one of the floppy ones. Huh, let's try this bad boy on. Bye-bye, tag. Here's what the front of the hat looks like, and here's the back. It's one of those one-size-fits-all hats. I can't tell what it looks like. Is it a, I want to go to Diddyland hat, or is it like a serious hat? Uh, it's not bad. It's not really bad. Kind of misshapen. Let's see if we can fix that. I just can't get this bad boy to sit right on my head. It just... This just... I'm sorry, I, I would never wear this. It just doesn't fit my immense bean very well. But I might give this to one of my kids. So anyway, there's item number one. It is a baseball cap. Item number two is, I'm not looking. Damn it, Box, you're making it very difficult for me. It is a desk light. This is a desk light. All right, so you got a base, a lovely little bit of foam, and I guess this is the light right here. Please remove this paper. Or what if I want to be a rebel and leave it on there? Uh, uh, it's really sticky. Oh, come on. It's really, oh no. The image is stuck. I, I've deduced that I won't be able to get this off here without damaging it. I don't know if you can see, but I've actually... Uh, never mind. I'll just put it... Just stick it. Just goes in the... There. Just like that. Oh, it's a USB light. Well, how am I going to plug that in? My computer's over there. 
Okay, so this is future editing Brad just jumping back into the video, and I, I just wanted to let you all know how much of a dum-dum I am, because it doesn't wreck the front of it. The whole thing is supposed to peel off, and stupid me was trying to peel just the sticker off when really the whole thing comes off. And it's beautiful. So whatever I rate the box at the end, give that like another point more, because I took off like a whole point because of the light being dorked. Except for the light wasn't dorked. I was the dork. Okay, got the flashlight. We got the hat. What else do we have in the magical box of fun? I know what that is. That is the card, right? Yeah, I don't read that. Not until after. But we do have... Oh, well, that's the card. Well, then what is that? Oh, this is an advertisement for just more culture fly stuff. The next thing in the box, oh, this has got bubble wrap around it. I'm guessing a flashlight or a thermos. It is a flash box amongst other things, so it could be a flashlight, we already, we already got a flashlight. So my guess is a thermos, a thermos. What's this? Travel mug, ah, okay, close enough. That's close enough. Okay, that's kind of cool. I like that. I will actually use this travel mug. I do wonder though, I do wonder if water will get in these little cracks here and then end up wrecking the paper. Because I've seen mugs like this that have the paper wrap on the inside. And once water starts getting into these cracks, then it drips down and just makes the paper look like sweaty butt crack in the summer. Very cool though, as long as it works, you know, and doesn't leak, I'll definitely use this. I actually need a new travel mug. So, so far, this is my favorite thing in the box. Travel mug. And the next thing in the DC Tickle Trunk is, oh, how fitting I said Tickle Trunk because it's an article of clothing, it's socks. It's cyborg socks. Oh, I do hope these fit. These are one size fits most socks, which means I'm gonna be SOL they're not going to fit my big feet, and I'm going to have to give these to one of my kids, but I suppose I should try to try them on for the video, right? That's what they look like. That is the socks. Let's put them on my feet. i got to take off my existing socks, though. Here's what they look like. Ooh, going to model the socks for you. Right. What's next in the box of fun? We're gonna dig on the inside. What do we find? Another article of clothing of some kind. And it is definitely a shirt, not a beach towel. It is a, oh, oh, wow. Oh, oh, this is awesome. To me, this makes the box worth it. Yes, this is a Thomas Wayne Flashpoint Batman long sleeve baseball style shirt. This is one of my favorite styles of shirt. I love it. I, I'm putting this on now. Oh, please clothing gods, let this one fit. It doesn't fit. It's tight. And I feel exposed. But I'm gonna save this. This shirt is a weight loss goal shirt. It is a cool shirt. It is a very cool shirt. It feels very soft and comfortable, a little itchy because it's fresh out of the factory so it's filled with chemicals. I encourage you to actually wash your shirts first. I, when I finish these videos, I take them off and then they get washed. All right, what is this? Oh, it's a, it's a, one of their buttons. I also like their badges, their enamel pins. Let's get it out of the, uh, out of the thing, the bagaroo, and then I'll show you the pin. We can both see it too. That, my good friends, is the pin. It's the comic book cover. It's the cover of Flashpoint. I have a whole stack of these pins on my vest. Let's get my vest. See? Here's the vest. And why do I put these on the vest? Well, you've heard the saying, vest is best. All right, so I'm going to stick this pin right here in this open spot. There we go. I know it's not all of them. Some of them have, you know, I've lost the backings for them, but I think this is this is a good portion of the buttons that I've gotten from the culture fly boxes. I wear a vest now. What's in the box now? There's only a few items that it could possibly be. 
And I know what this is. Is there anything else? Anything else? That thing as usual. The don't put it in your mouth thing. And this, which is... I have no idea. It comes in a little box. Oh, I can see it. Heads, tails. Is this a coin? Did they just give me a coin? Oh, they did. This is kind of cool. I like this. This is, see, you never know what you're going to get. Now, clearly, this is not really made out of gold or anything even resembling gold, not even fool's gold, which would be perfect for me because on account of me being a, a fool and all, this is, this is cool. Heads or tails. You've got Aquaman on one side of the coin, and then you got Flashpoint Wonder Woman on the other. That is a very interesting, very creative thing to put in the box. All right, let's go best two out of three. Heads or tails? I didn't say what heads was, did I? No, I didn't. Okay, heads is Wonder Woman, tails is Aquaman. Heads. Wonder Woman, heads. Now, remember, keep track. Heads. Aquaman, it was tails. Okay, tiebreaker right here. Tails. I got Wonder Woman. I lost. Okay, whoopsies. Future Brad, edit that out. Okay, we got the coin, the drink, the flashlight, the hat, the badge. We got the shirt right here. We got, we got the man boobs. And we have the final item in the box. And this is the figure. I knew it was going to be a Flashpoint Thomas Wayne Batman figure. There's the back too. Comes with a little image. I'm excited. Let's get out my other little figures too for first so that he'll have someone to join in with. We got Soupy. Let's move over the flashlight and the drink holder. We got Soupy. <coughs> oh, that's dusty. Batman. Wow. I don't always blow my superheroes before I take them outside and to play it and show them around, but sometimes you just got to blow them because they're covered in dust. Yeah, I got the got the Aquaman. That one turned out really, really well. I was really impressed with it. I don't have the Green Lantern one, and I'm still in the middle of do I want to order or not because the face paint just looked horrible. Remember what I did to the, the Supergirl one? He might get that treatment. So, but they got the Flash. <sighs> the Flash isn't quite as dirty. The Flash one turned out very, very well. I like that one. And then we got the Joker. <sighs> I got to get the Cyborg and the Wonder Woman though. I do, I do want to get those. So those are the ones that I do have. I've got Batman and Robin in their crouching positions, their hidden dragon crouching tiger positions upstairs, but I'm not bringing them down. And I'm, I'm pretty excited because Culture Fly usually does a pretty good job with these ex exclusive little statues. So I'm assuming that it's going to be pretty good. Oh, that's a stand there. Hang on. Oh. Okay. Number one, this statue is clearly a copy of McFarlane's Batman figure, like a blatant actual miniaturized copy of his figure. Notice the ankles actually have articulation points that aren't there. And then you've got the very specific way that Todd sculpted the boots and the gloves and the knee pads. And there's even what looks like an articulation point that should be there in the torso and also at the bottom of the briefs line, if you will. Same thing with that head sculpt. This to me actually looks like they either copied Todd's Batman or got permission to do like a miniaturized version of it. Or maybe they just actually did their sculpting based off Todd's action figure sculpts. I don't know for sure, but I could tell you that this is definitely, absolutely 100%, at the very least, inspired by the action figure. Overall, it's not terrible, but I will say that uh, it kind of stinks a little bit. Like the bat ears in the top of his logo really aren't bat ears. And the face paint on this one is, well, it's not good. We'll say that. I mean, you're looking at it, I'm looking at it. We can, we can we're all on the same page here. I mean, it's, it's better than the Supergirl. Hey, you guys! Which got this treatment. But it's certainly not the greatest. The rest of it's fine. If it wasn't for the bat not looking right and for the face kind of 
looking dollar store-ish. Other than that, I mean, it would be great. It's not the caliber. I don't know what's happened, but it's not the caliber that we were getting here. Side by side, you can see that the quality is absolutely gone downhill with their little statues. A four out of 10. Oh, that's, uh, that hurts my soul to say that, but a four out of 10. All right, so let's move all these guys out of the way and let's do a final count of everything we got in the box. We got the figgy poo. We got the travel mug. We got the flashlight and we got the little weensy coin right here for our heads and tails, the collectible coin. We got the comic cover button. We got the flash hat and we got the shirt. I feel like for most people, the shirt is going to be the high point of the box. And I feel like the figure is going to be probably the biggest disappointment from the box because a lot of us, that's half the reason why we buy the box is because we want the little statue. It's just fun. We know that you would probably just find something like something like this in Hot Topic for, I don't know, 10 bucks or something like that. But they're just fun to have and they're exclusive to the box. So it's interesting to see what they come up with. That being said, I would probably give this box a 6.5 out of 10. It's enough that I want to buy the next one. We'll just see how it goes from there. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. As usual, it means the world to me that you stick around and watch my big dumb head talk about big dumb stuff. And I will see you with the next one. Have a DC day, everybody. And take care. Tails. Heads. I just can't win. Look at all this mess.